A Moment with Tyranny podcast. This episode in conversation is powered by Homes with Tyranny. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us again. Another episode with A Moment with Tyranny podcast. Again, thank you all so much. Podcast has been so successful and I and I Again, I say thank you to all of y'all that listen. Um, Remember, if you're not following, please subscribe, follow me, put your notification on, share, like, all those things help me. So please, please go ahead and do that. Um, Today, we have a very interesting topic. Again, we have a guest. Yay. And Mm -hmm. our topic today is what does success look like? That's a really good question. What does success look like? So guests, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Janice Odom. I live in the colony, Texas. Um, I just want to say it is a pleasure to be a guest and to conversate here on this platform with Tyranny in A Moment with Tyranny. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for joining me. Um, You know, this podcast has been like a really lifeline and it's been helping people. And that's what I wanted to do whenever... um, I started doing the moment with tyranny. I said, I want to do something where it's not just about a business, not just about my real estate, not about it. I want it to be an open platform where um, when we have discussions like this, it's, it'll mean something to somebody, you know, somebody Mm -hmm. related to it. So I really appreciate you joining uh, me to talk about this topic. So let's jump right in there. So today uh, the topic is what does success look like? And this topic came about because many people that I listen to, talk to and stuff, they try to measure success in different ways. And, um, they're like, I'm not successful, or I am successful, or he's more successful than me, or whatever. But, you know, what what really is success? What does it really look like? You know, so that's the topic. So let's just... Mm-hmm. Okay, well, my... Um, the thought that came to my mind... Um, well, first of all, I, w- I went to Webster, just like you said, you know, people say, you know, well, success is blah, 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 or they compare themselves to this and that. But Webster said that success um, is a favorable or desired income. I mean, income, listen to me, a, a favorable or desired outcome. And what I would like to add to that is that it's the peace of mind mm. with my self-satisfaction because I've done everything and the very best I could in this particular arena. Win or lose, because sometimes it is a loss. But if I've given my 100%, I'm self-satisfied that I did what I could do and to me, that's a success. Yes, yes, yes. And 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 you just said win or lose, because success. What people also, you know, mindset, success could be part of a loss. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. But if you didn't, the successful part to me is is self satisfying. I mean that 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 to me is important because. I put forth what I felt or what I knew to put forth to make this a success. Yeah. Yeah. Did it did I lose? Maybe. But with putting forth my all and my best, what else could you ask? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? And I and I always say one thing about me. I, I I when we talk about losing and losses and stuff and failing, um, I always look at failure or losing something or a loss. It's not really it's not a negative thing because I always say I always continue to fail forward. That's my term. I fail forward because I'm going to learn from what I failed at, and it's going to catapult me to the next level. So I'm actually failing forward. I'm not failing backwards because I'm learning. So the success is me 
failing a little bit, learning the lesson and stuff. So it's it's that's still success. Anytime you can progress a step ahead or something, then that's more of a successful story than we sometimes realize. I think a lot of times, Dennis, we um, when we think about success, we're looking at it as being better than or achieving this big, big. Right. You you're gauging you're gauging your success based on someone else's or something else. Yes. Again, when I say that self-satisfaction, it's a personal value. To me, a, it, that, that personal value system is very important to me. And if I've personally given it my all, just like you say, I mean, even, even in a loss, now I take what I learned from that loss I incorporate it and to make me successful or, or to make me better the next time. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it, it, to, it, it, the, the real, what's really important is that to me is that you, it's a personal aim. You know, it's a, it's a personal thing. You know, you want to be successful. And I, I'll give you a short story. I don't know if it's time I can do a story or not. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> uh, and, and that's why I say it's personal. And it's so simple. I, you know, I'm, I was not a runner. But I admired people that I saw running on the side of the street. I'd see them running and I admired that. I, I, I looked and I said, you know, I really want to do that. But I I had in my head that I couldn't. So what I did, I said, why can't I? And that's my thing because I, I don't think there's a whole lot of things that I personally cannot do if I put my mind, my heart, and my efforts into it. Mm -hmm. I said that was something I wanted to do. So... I, 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 but I didn't understand. Well, I get out here and I try to, you know, and I'm out of breath by the time I got to Houselands. Yeah. What that told me was that I didn't know how to run. So I had to back up. I had to learn how to run. Well, you think that's a simple thing, you know, oh, just get out there and run. But there's a process to it, there's steps to take it, like those baby steps. Yeah. I, what I learned, Along the way was that I, because the reason I was only getting two house land, I was exerting too much energy. Mm. I did not know how to run. I went, I got trained. It took me, I don't know, four months before I actually learned how to run. Patience to me, success comes with patience. Okay. Again, when I first got out there, I wanted to run the whole block, you know, picking up my legs like a sprinter. But <laughs> I learned that that's not the way, you know, to do it. So once I learned, and again, with learning, nobody can take it away from you. Once you learn something, you learn it. Yeah. I learned how to run. And the following year, I ran. Let me tell you, I ran a half marathon. I ran 13 miles straight. Wow. Okay. That's because to me, that was a personal success. That was success because yeah. that's something I set out to do. It was a personal aim. I had patience. I was honest with myself that I had not trained. I had not done what I needed to do to get there, yeah. you know? And so, and again, with learning that, I learned that I could, I can run. Anyway, that, that was just my little, my little no, story that, there. No, but, that's but, great. But that's, that's, that's why I say when the word success is, it's a personal thing because, you know, the next person could care less about running. Yeah. So that, that that's not safe. So whatever it is, they how that they want to be successful at put the time the energy be confident with yourself 
you know, that, that you can do it, whether it's a business or whatever, you know, have confidence in yourself. Realize that not everybody's goal is your goal. Right. And you have to know what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. That forward thinking, like you said, fail forward, you know, that forward thinking. Not everybody's going to be on the same track as you. And you have to have that confidence in yourself yeah. that, uh, you know, you, you're moving towards your, your goal, your aim. See, that's good. And that's good. so, so, and, and so me just hearing and listening. So basically what I'm hearing um, from this whole thing is define your success. Define your own success. Define your own terms to your success. Achieve it. To achieve your 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 you know. To achieve your goals by your rules. You set mm -hmm. your rules. You define it, and then you build on that, and then you be proud of your yeah. accomplishments, even of your if accomplishments. little steps at a time. But when you get to that other thing, say you know, just be proud of every accomplishment and step that you made based off of your. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And again, it's that peace of mind knowing that you've done what yeah. you could do to get to where you want to go. Yeah. And where you want to go is a success to you. Exactly. Exactly. And don't compare my yeah. success to yeah. somebody else's success because like you yeah. said, uh Tyranny's success is one thing. Janice's success yes. is another one. I might not can run because my back and knees are bad. Or I exactly. Do it, exactly. You know? But you yeah. saw something that motivated you that you were seeing and you said, that's what I'm going to do. And you mm -hmm. went after it. And that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you said, and like I said, that you set your own, you defined your goals and your terms and your rules to get there. And you mm -hmm. ran out there and ran. Through and I miles. went 13 miles straight. Yep. And, yeah. and, you know, and it wasn't that, you know, I, it, you, it, you have to, a lot of times too, you realize that, again, I said, every other people go, other, your other person's goal may not be your goal. You yeah. know, yes, I have friends. I have other women friends or whatever. I had women friends then, you know, they did not want to learn how to run. Yeah. You have to be willing to step out by yourself if that's what you want. Yeah. You, and you got to, you know, not be afraid to separate yourself from the rest. Yeah. If that's what you want. If you want to be successful, you've got to be willing to step out by yourself. Leave, leave your friends. They'll be there when they, when you get back or maybe they won't. Well, they didn't, you know, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you got to know what you want. Again, that's that personal value that it's success yeah. to me has personal value all over it. Yeah. And you, and you said a lot right there too, you know, um, as a lot of times through your success, you're going to have to move by yourself. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking you mm -hmm. got to have that whole posse mm -hmm. thing with mm -hmm. you. A lot of success, you're going to be moving by yourself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. That's and that. along the way, you you pick up some other, you know, I won't say posse, but you'll pick up some other people that you can learn something from, from them too. Exactly. Yep. Which just makes, just still, that just adds to that personal value system of yours. Yes. And mentorship, finding somebody that will mentor you through some of your goals. Like, you mm -hmm. know, I, I mean, I, you you said that you had to learn how to run and stuff. But did mm -hmm. you say that you also had somebody helping you to? Yes, I had. Yeah, and... Yes, the guy. Yes, he, he did. My my friend, he, you know, because I was thinking, what what is it? Because, you know, he was a runner, you know. Yeah. And I was like, what is it? I You know, I've tried and I only get two houses. And he, you know, he told me what I was doing wrong. You know, I was exerting too much energy. You know, you're taking too bigger steps or you're raising your foot up too much. And, you yeah. know, he, he he coached me a long way. He taught me what I was doing wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And it worked. But that was because I was willing to the, to get the knowledge. You know, sometimes, yeah. you know, you got to go. He, You know, again, he didn't come to me. I went to him. Sometimes you got to go get information. You got to go use your resources to learn or to to help you to to help build you to get to where you're trying to get yeah wow wow 
And that's all that's resonating with me a lot because, you know, a lot of that, there's a point in my time where I wanted to do things and I felt I couldn't do it because I didn't have somebody to go with me. I didn't have mm -hmm. to do it. But then I, uh, here and where I am now, I'm learning that it's okay to walk alone and oh, yeah. I to ask somebody along the way, because if I'm walking and I, as my journey goes, it's go, I'm going to run into somebody on that, yes. on that journey, on that path that I'm heading, that's already done what I've already exactly and that's the person you that's the person you want to run into anyway because they have the knowledge exactly. of where you're trying to go exactly yeah and you said he told you you're not breathing right so you ain't yes. out there passing out yes. and burning muscles yeah. and stuff. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that's good yeah so, so so let's just say so to our audience you know um we talk about what does success i like success what it looks like it's a personal it's a personal fit, you mm -hmm. know, and it's not a one size fit all is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Success mm -hmm. is not a one size fit all. And I love that. I love mm -hmm. that success is an individual and success is an inner peace thing. Mm -hmm. so it's exactly. You yes. happy. Yes. Yep. It's, it's reaching goals that you set for yourself. Love it. Love it. So what, what, what message you want to live with our audience today? <laughs> uh, my I guess my takeaway would be you know set set your goal set goals um be determined you know have that drive whatever it is make sure and, and you know and along the way you know have fun with whatever it is you know get yeah. get a passion whatever it is that you know to you want to be successful at let let there be some passion in it. You'll as, along the way you'll learn, and it'll be less. I don't want to say complicated, but it'll you'll absorb it a lot easier if it's something you enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's, good. that's pretty much it. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> good advice. I love it. This is a great moment with tyranny about success and what it looks like. Everybody knows. Gotta leave you with a quote. I'm always quoting. I, I live by quotes. This one is from Zig Ziglar, and I love this one. This one says, "Success is not measured by what uh, success is not measured by what you do compared to what somebody else does. Success mm -hmm. by what you com what you do compared to what you are capable of doing." So exactly. Let me, let me say that one more guy. Mm -hmm. You gotta smooth it out. Success is not measured by what you do compared to what somebody else does. Success is measured by what you do compared to what you're capable of doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so yep. much again, Janice, for joining me on A Moment with Tyranny. Everybody subscribe. Uh, again, I'm a realtor if you're looking for that. Uh, we do everything. So I'm kind of into everything, but uh, follow me. And my podcast every Friday, 12 noon Central Standard Time, A Moment with Tyranny. Thank you so much, Jen. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having me. Y'all have a great right. one. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.